hey besties welcome back to my channel so um this video i'm making please um you're gonna pardon any background noise you hear from here or it's even possible that my voice may echo actually in the site right now and there's a lot of work going on here from plumbing work to um bricklayers you know doing their thing and all of that so if you hear any background noise please 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 pardon and i'll try as much as i can to be loud and audible in this video what prompted me to make this video was um i went to um, a store this morning to get um some items for the house so only for me to get there and um i ran into someone that came looking for a hand sanitizer and unfortunately for him he was told that sanitizers are out of stock you know he was so pained and you know he said he had looked around all the stores he can't lay his hands on hand sanitizer and all of that so then i i thought to myself if i can make this happen why can't i just do it so that prompted me to get some items so i can show you this video because even the bible says my people perish for lack of understanding due to the current situation of the world right now um, stores are running out of sanitizer some stores are running out of um, toilet rolls and all of that so right now we are going to make our hand sanitizer and we need to make the environment as clean and as healthy as it can be so right now i remember i said i'm working from a site so this is what I did. I brought in a play mat. This you see right here is not my recording mat. This is actually my muffler. Yeah, this is my muffler. So I do what I did was okay. I can if I don't have my recording mat, let me just improvise. So I removed my muffler, wrapping around my neck, and I placed it on the play mat just to make sure that the environment is very clean. I'm not going to capitalize on the fact that everywhere is clean. I'm going to go ahead and sanitize this environment, this little environment I want to work with so we can get into the video. So um, meanwhile, the first thing I have here is my alcohol. So I'm going to sanitize everything I'm going to be needing. So I, have, I also have my wipes here. So I'm going to clean the things I have here. Starting from my measuring cup. I'm just going to clean it before going ahead to spray it because we do not want to give chance to any form of microorganism or bacteria or whatsoever. This video has to stay clean. Meanwhile, I cleaned this earlier on, so I'm just going to go ahead and sanitize it. Excuse me for that. I have my funnel. I'm going to clean it as well before sanitizing. I also have my spatula. I have my spatula here. I'm going to clean it as well before going ahead to spray them. Coronavirus. So as I keep working, anything that needs to be cleaned, anything that needs to be sanitized, trust me to do that. So now I'm just going to go ahead and spray everything before I get into the video. This is a moko isopropyl alcohol. I'll be using the entire content in this print because remember I said I'm making a hand sanitizer and the hand sanitizer I'm making, I'm not going to use it alone. I'm going to share my close friends and family people I have around me. So the one I'm making right now is going to be the illustrative video. So I'll go ahead and make the remaining um, hand sanitizers perhaps much later when I get back to the house. So let's get into the video. So this is 200 ml of um, spirits. I will, empty, I will empty the entire content into my mixing cup.
And remember that you really want your alcohol level to be much more than the aloe vera. So this is what I'm using, 92% aloe vera. And this aloe vera is actually quite cheap. I got this for a thousand naira. Uh, go to a store, you are unable to get hold of a sanitizer. Don't beat yourself to it. That is the state of the world at the moment. All you just have to do is get ingredients and make yours. So now for 200 ml of spirits, I'll be making use of, let's start with one cup. <laughs> Sky on the beat. ml so i stopped right here i stopped right here so let's just say i sorry i don't have my i don't have my uh, my scaler here otherwise i would have checked the <laughs> someone is actually trying to limp um what are you trying to do <laughs> just because i said please everybody should be calm okay so i don't have everybody check the measurements of these things so what i did is i'm just going to eyeball it at the end of the day it really does not matter so this is 250 ml so i didn't fill it up so let's just say i have about 180 ml of um aloe vera right here yeah i think 180 ml because what i have here is 200 ml and you really want your alcohol level to surpass the aloe vera level Okay, so I've um, emptied the aloe vera into my spirit and now I'm just going to mix it. We all know that what spirit does is make our hands dry. This is the reason why we're not going to stop at the, um, what's it called, as just the aloe vera and spirit mixture. Now we have our choices to make at this point. So what I have here to work with, is I have my essential oil. I have my essential oil which is actually a moisturizing oil this is orange oil so you can either use to use an essential oil which actually adds fragrance and moisture to your sanitizer or you can choose a glycerin so if you want your alum if you want your hand sanitizer to remain white you can opt for glycerin or you can yeah this is, i have two kinds of glycerin here i have the pink and i have the white so if you want to add color for those of you that love colors if you want to add color to your um to your hand sanitizer all you have to do is just make your choice you are either using this or you are using the either way they are serving the same purpose i'm gonna go ahead and make use of my essential oil because I really want some fragrance, like I want some good fragrance as well as I also want to maintain the moisture. If at the end of the day I add the orange oil and I don't get my desired moisture, I will go ahead and add little glycerin. Twenty drops of I added twenty drops of essential oil. Mm, this scent so nice. This scent really, really nice. Please, guys, try and stay safe. What we need right now is to try and stay safe as much as we can. I've been coming to the site for over two weeks now, and guess what? I move around with sanitizer. The one I use um, currently is almost running out. Yeah, you can go ahead and walk. No, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can see it. The lens is open. Yes. Check it from inside. You can see it. Well, 
we are actually looking for a way around it. Oh, oh my god, wow. I move around with my hand sanitizer. I move around with my wipes. You see me sanitizing every now and then. This wasn't part of the plan, so I'll quickly spray this here. So I had to to color. So guys, let's just try and stay safe. If you don't have a reason to go out, if you don't have a reason to be out there, please, please, for the love of God, love yourself enough to stay at home. Try and refrain from um, large gatherings. Please try and refrain from large gatherings. Stay at home if you have to pray. Pray in the comfort of your home. If you have people that want to come visit you, if you think they are coming to visit, it's not going to make any, it's not going to be of any benefit to you. Just tell them to please stay at home and you can pass the message nicely without offending anyone. This is just because of what we are going through right now. Everybody is trying to be safe. It's better to be safe than sorry. This is Nigeria. We all know that this part of the country, only God can help us. And of course, self-care, self-isolation. And do not forget that if you feel any form of, the, of all the symptoms they've mentioned to us, about the coronavirus, please do not hesitate to contact the NCDC, which is the National Center for um, Disease Control, and do tell them this is what you're feeling. If you have anybody around you that is showing any signs or any symptoms, please do not hesitate to make a quick move. This way we can all contain it, we can all help to contain the virus. Uh, yeah, everybody keeps saying um, viral, coronavirus is not gonna see me and my family. Yes, yeah, everyone help those who help themselves. If you say coronavirus is not going to see you and your family, there's what Yoruba calls the balloring, the relaxation. That is automatic corona for you. So, guys, let's try and be safe. It is better to be safe than sorry. So, I've successfully made my own hand sanitizer. I have no reason to go to a pharmacy or to a store because stores are running out of sanitizers. So I've made mine. I'm going to share this to the people around me. We all have to stay safe. Let me give this a shake. So I have my sanitizer. You can see this is very, very thick. This is quite thick. And this is, this is too big to carry around. That is why I have my small bottle here. So, excuse me. So I have my small bottle. I'll go ahead and spray it. Spray the cover, anything, everything has to be sprayed. And at the end of the day, I didn't have a need for this phone. So, for, to make this easy for me to move around with, you remember I sprayed this earlier, easy for me to move around with. I'll just turn some here. Uh -huh. So, this is very handy. This is very handy. You can have this in your pocket, you can have it anywhere. Door knobs, and don't forget to sanitize your areas. Mop your floors with detail. Not a guy on the beat. Coronavirus! Just make sure you are safe. So, guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope this video is helpful to you. Please subscribe if you're passing by. Please, if you like this content, do share it. I'll see you all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourself and bye for now.